Today we're gonna fix the worst gaming video ever made. And how do we know it's the worst gaming video ever made? Well, there's a whole list of problems. The main one being, I made this video. I made it back in 2019 and it was the first gaming video I ever made. So join me in this video where we're gonna go from this, hello, to this. Rust is a really hard game. Every single time you spawn as a beginner, you get killed. <clears throat> and in the process of doing so, I lost my f***ing mind. Okay, so let's take a look at the video in question. This is it, Rust Fatherhood 101. Everything about this straight away is just not that great. I mean, look at this title. What does that even mean? What do you get from that as a viewer? Why would you want to watch it? A thumbnail. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so straight up we got a copyright claim. That's not a good thing for when you're starting out as a channel. So the introduction is about 30 seconds of uncut footage. That is just the worst thing that you can start out with, especially when it's really boring sh like this. So let's chop it up. So the first thing I'm doing is removing all of the dead space just by using the cutting tool and ripple deleting. I'm also doing a zoom in on a clip, which is gonna add a little something to this gameplay. Hello? Ah! And as I was going through the gameplay, I started to discover some things which surprised me. I think I was really nervous when I first recorded this, um, as you can probably tell. With the cutting of the gameplay done, it was time to record an audio intro so that the video has a more broad appeal straight away. So I'm thinking with this intro, I want to do something where it talks about how bad Rust is for beginners and how you keep dying every single time. I think that will make quite a funny intro because then it just goes into this. Right. Already, we're looking at a way more refined introduction. Just with cutting, literally just cutting, and I've done one zoom. You're about to see something that is very rare, which is me doing my audio intros. So let's do that. Rust is an incredibly hard game, and it's very scary. And every now and again, no, I'm gonna start that again. Rust is a really hard game, and every single time you spawn as a beginner, you get killed. But sometimes you just wanna find friendship in a game. And in today's video, we're gonna try and find the ultimate best friend. So let's make this intro happen. First, I'm dragging on the logo of the game we're playing, Rust. Then I'm taking a funny clip from this video here. And this is what it looks like so far. Rust is a really hard game. Now, obviously it's gonna need a little something in the background instead of just a black screen. So I'm going into the gameplay and I'm finding a clip, copying and pasting it in there, removing the audio, putting it under the clips, which looks like this. Rust is a really hard game. I then copied and pasted a new clip from the gaming video in there, did some chopping up and zoomed in on the key parts. Now I just have to figure out what to put over this bit here. And in today's video, Video, we're gonna try and find the ultimate best Hello? friend. But luckily, I have the perfect movie clip for that. You son of a bitch. So we're just gonna chop out that section with the in and out tool and then slap it straight in there. And instead of using a cross dissolve because that looks a bit shit, I'm gonna do my own custom opacity keyframes. Hello? Now it's time to find the music. Right here is the Ape Escape sound. Finn? Finn? Come on, man, focus. Focus, Finn. Please. This is gonna make all the difference. And of course, Finn is right. Choosing the right music can make all the difference. Rust is a really hard game. Every single time you spawn as a beginner, you get killed. <clears throat> Already, the flow here is just so much better. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of subtitling just to highlight what I'm saying in the voiceover, which is that when you spawn, you die. Now I'm just gonna do some really fancy slide ins and slide outs straight from my preset pack. And that's really easy just to drag and drop on there. When you spawn as a beginner, you get killed. Bash. Then I'm gonna add a zoom onto the Rust logo at the beginning and drag and drop my drop shadow preset so it looks a little like this. I'm also gonna add in a meme when I'm talking about friendship and I'm dragging and dropping a slide in and slide out preset on there as well. Okay, so we have gone from 30 seconds of uninterrupted, unchopped gameplay footage as an intro to this. Rust is a really hard game. Every single time you spawn as a beginner, you get killed. <clears throat> but sometimes you just want to find friendship in a game. And in today's video, we're going to try and find the ultimate best friend. Hello? Ah, how's it going? I just get off. Oh, oh. Jasper, what, what do you think of that? Wow, that was the best video I've ever seen, Finn. That was so good. Honestly, like, the best video I've ever seen. Uh, the best best time I've had in my life, really. <laughs> We're now gonna go in and chop up the gameplay. This should be pretty interesting. So I ran into many problems with this video that I had to fix on the fly. The first one being, in the video, I am loud as hell. Oh, fuck! Don't kill me! It's just so loud. What the fuck? I am so loud, it's unbelievable. And the mic just clips. And there's almost no saving it, so I've had to cut out 
a lot of the times where I'm screaming, which unfortunately is where a lot of the funny sh** happens in the video, which really isn't often. <laughs> Honestly, a loud voice is just really, really annoying. And as I was editing this, I literally got annoyed at myself. I'm Jackerus! <sighs> just annoys me. Like, it's just annoying to listen to. As well as this, the music that I used was really, really loud and very much copyrighted. And a lot of the time, these two things were mixed together. Loud me and loud music. And I am just not funny. The biggest problem that I faced is that both of these things are baked into the video together. They're not separate. So I can't separate my voice from the music, which means that I've had to cut out a lot of the stuff which has the music and screaming in it. And I had to find a workaround to that. Now, what was that workaround, I hear you ask? Well, it was to do a voiceover. Yes, I did a voiceover for most of the video, which basically just gave it some story to go with. You know, I can actually dictate where the story's gonna go and give it some better pacing. If the video that you're making is sh doing a voiceover can really just add that sense of a story being told to you and just makes it way more engaging. It's, it's almost kind of a cheat at this point. So I did the voiceover and honestly, the video was way better for it. Oh, this is gonna be so much better. Holy sh**. So I had to do a lot of cutting. The video uncut was about five minutes in total. I chopped it up to about two minutes altogether. And that is including the intro, which obviously makes it longer. So we're looking at about one minute and 30 seconds of gameplay left over from the five minutes of the original video. I then added music, which I felt would fit the vibe. I went with the hand simulator survival, survival theme tune because it's quite a primitive and silly soundtrack, which I think fit the vibe of this video. I didn't want it to be too serious. I wanted it to be fun. And that was perfect for it. As you can see, the fin that was editing knew it was gonna fit. I mean, look at this dude. Why are you doing this? Mother in 10,000 BC. Perfect. I added some zooms here and there just to emphasize different moments that the characters were having. We got Jackarus, the kid that we met in the game. He did some funny shit. And also the guy that we met towards the end and zooming in on him just so that I can let the audience know that yes, it is him speaking. And it just makes it more clear and intimate to the story. Dude, the adventure, dude, okay? dude, stop. Music is obviously a huge part of setting the vibe. So I went onto my favorite music finding site, Licked, and I found a stock track, which is gonna be copyright free. Yes, copyright free. No way I'm touching those claims. Just get out of here. Fine, I'm getting out of here. And I picked this track right here, which would fit that dramatic vibe that I wanted when I first meet the main character, Jackarus. Mind my own business. When this little gremlin approaches me, he tried to kill me, but I stood my ground and showed him who's boss. Overall, it worked really well. And the Licked site is really simple to use. Absolutely no problems there. Highly recommend using it yourself. Whoa, <laughs> it's me, baby. Salesman Finn. Salesman Finn, what the <laughs> are you doing on the screen? Oh yeah, you think what you're you doing? Without a sale from me. Never, the greatest sales fan of all time. You don't even need to God sell it. I've just good. used it. I've literally just used it. You missed out some big points on that sale, Finn. You're a goddamn rookie. You're by far the worst sales fan I've ever seen in my the life. The audience have just seen the whole thing. Did you even mention the playlists that are dedicated to background music and gaming videos? <sighs> no, I didn't think so. You got that suck. Oh, Finn, come on, man. Now let me make this sale. Now you better let me say those final words. We've spoken about this, You man. better let me say Listen. those final words, Finn. You think I'm messing oh, around, shit. Finn? Can that even... I'm not messing around. Okay. You're gonna <laughs> let me say those final All words. Right. We're gonna let you do your thing. Make sure to use my link in the description for a whole 14-day free trial on the stock music. There's over 100,000 tracks for you to choose from. If you're not using this, you're missing out. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do now that I'm here. Oh, this is weird. I don't like being in a screen. I don't know, maybe like uh, minimize the window or something, you know, like the, the, the button up there, go. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. In this video, <laughs> okay. In this video, there's a whole lot of penis, okay? I the blow. I had to go through it all after chopping it up and censor every single genitalia that I could see in the frames. And believe me, there was a whole lot. I sh you not, there, oh my God. There was so much penis. And the clips I'm about to show you speak for itself. Oh my God, you can see his f***ing penis. Oh no. I'm gonna have to go through and censor all of the genitalia. I literally sat down for 30 to 45 minutes just censoring and keyframing, frame by frame, penises. Is that a third leg I see? It's just a giant dick. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's so much dick. Is that a penis? That's a penis. Oh, we've got three. Yeah, I was not happy doing this, but you know, it's got to be done. <laughs> All right, guys, all of this, all of this is tracked penis censorship. 
I needed to take a break. Too many dicks, man. It's really important to take a break, guys, and uh, get out in nature, have a little walkie walk or something. What the f is that? Then I added transitions, and transitions I didn't want to be too much with, but they're really simple to do. With my preset pack handy, you just create two adjustment layers, eight frames each, drag another one on top and make it the length of the two together, and then just drag on the main preset to the bottom two and one of the smooth transitions on the top one. And that is literally it. Whoa. Now time for the sound effects. I wanted to add some whoosh sounds for the transitions. I mainly focused on the introduction with the sound effects because that's where it was most intense. Throughout the video, I didn't really need that many sound effects because I was really just focusing on the voiceover and I didn't want to take too much away from that. I've already said in my videos about everything needing to be as if it's going through really thick air. Everything is going through really thick air, like air that makes noise when you move through it. Listen. I stick by that. The last thing I did was add some subtitles. I decided it would be funny to make Jacarus have a couple subtitles because the things he was saying didn't make any sense. I decided to make sense of it with the subtitles. I thought that was a pretty fun little thing to do. Did it add much to the story? Not really, but it just made him a more fun character to watch. You know the world might look at you and say you're weird, but you're beautiful. I also added subtitles to the evil guy towards the end, and I added some extreme shaking to it. Also found in my preset pack. Oh my god! It was just so easy, and it just adds that little extra bit of fizzazz to the end product. All in all, pretty happy with it. If you want to see both the original and the newly edited gaming video, then go and watch the comparison on my second channel. All right, this mother is done. So what are the main things that I've learned today? Chop up your footage a lot, and you have to get rid of everything that is if you want to have a good chance of, you know, keeping retention. And this has proved that you can remove a lot of from bad gaming videos and still make a slightly entertaining video. I used voiceover, which I think is a really good thing to do on gaming videos because it makes it more personal. I don't know, you can tell your own story with it. You can get more creative with it, even if it's not entirely authentic and didn't actually happen in the gameplay. But for this example in the gameplay, I think it worked pretty well. Otherwise, it would have been pretty boring just to show the gameplay. I was nervous when I was filming it, so I had no idea what I was really doing. I literally think this gaming video was the first video I ever hit record on, ever in a gaming sense. So it's quite nice to have that backup of using your voice. Choosing the right music can make all the difference. Once again, another shout out to Licked because they provide the best stock music I've heard in any of the audio libraries. And they also provide chart music for that kind of extra you know, sparkle on your videos if ever you felt that was necessary. But overall, I think this was a success. And I did it in a relatively short time. Most of the time was spent censoring dicks. So lesson learned there, make sure you turn on the censor option in the game. But yeah, thank you for watching. Huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are awesome for sticking with me. I love you so much. Um, every single one of you. Every single one of you. Now get the hell out of here. And, and make sure you subscribe. All right, I'm out of here. I'm actually out of here. Get the hell out of here. I tried to say hi to your pretty blue eye, but I'm not to your view. Yeah. My friends ask me why did I spend all my time conversating about you?